On the line, half court and back. Go, go, go. What's a good point guard going to do? Start thinking that way. Yeah. Yes, Devin Booker. Whatever we do, it's got to be at a high level. We can't have a show up mentality. So we have to play hard. We have to play with a level of force every single night. Tommy on D, one, two, D! As the curtain dropped on the 2018-19 NBA season, the Phoenix Suns found themselves in need of a change and a new head coach. Success on the court is always a priority, but Suns general manager James Jones wanted someone that could help him build a new culture in Phoenix. It's going to require our guys to embrace um, the little things. It'll be a war of attrition um, this summer, you know, showing up on time working hard, defending, sharing the ball, and having a high care factor are things that I believe allow you to, to build a culture. I evaluated the teams that Monty coached and that he was a part of. They all exhibited the same character traits, a focus on the fundamentals and championship habits. Uh, so after our, first, after our first meeting, I knew that um, if, if there was an opportunity to get him here, um, that we had to do it. Jones had found his target, but the Suns were far from the only suitor for Monty Williams. So let's look at the reported candidates for the Lakers coaching job. It's Ty Lue, Monty Williams, Jason Kidd got an interview, Juwan yeah. Howard got an interview. My understanding is, is Monty Williams has a very good shot. Really? I've, it, somebody even told me pole position in this. That was our senior insider, Adrian Wojnarowski. Yesterday you reported it was between the Lakers and obviously the Suns. Monty felt the bond as well, and he would choose the Valley of the Sun over the bright lights of Hollywood. The groundwork was laid for a new beginning. It's a great day to be a Suns fan and a member of the Suns family. Um, as we welcome Monty Williams as the next coach of the Phoenix Suns. One stab at the ball, make him go that way, we're good. Let's rotate, 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 rotate. Uh, I think we have to change the perception of how the Phoenix Suns are built around the league um, and the reputation that we have. Um, and that's not going to come easy. You know, we talked about it with Coach, we're going to have to change that. Um, it's going to start day one. It started two days ago. You know, every time we touch the floor, you know, the way people view the Phoenix Suns has to change. Three man weave, four pass. Let's go. You should be thinking about the three, okay? Stay right. Now, do what you just did. Of course, I think we're more connected now. We know each other better, and uh, uh, we're starting to know what type of basketball we want to play, uh, what, time, what type of team we want to be. We can just. Right from the jump, do your work early. Good job, good job. Family on three, one, two, three. Family. Monty knew there was talent on the roster and that his relationship with one particular player would be key. When I watch film, I see, in Devin, I see a guy who could be a household name here soon. I feel like he has the game that can uh, not only put up points in the regular season, but he has a game that's fit for the playoffs. It's NBA tip-off 2019. The Suns and Sacramento Kings get it started here on Fox Sports Arizona. Opening night presented a young and equally hungry Pacific Division rival. And it didn't take long to see that a new era was dawning in the Valley. Great defense there. But yeah, great D there. Oubre Jr. with a thunderous left hand. Lost the handle, drops it off to Aiden, who rumbles it down. A lot of emotions, a lot of good stuff. I'm so thankful my kids were there tonight for the whole game. They got to see that. and So glad I got to do that um, with this group. Um, and um, I'm just glad to get this win. The season's first setback hit less than 24 hours later. 
Former Arizona Wildcat and number one overall pick last year by the Phoenix Suns, DeAndre Ayton has been suspended 25 games by the NBA. And with second year star DeAndre Ayton out, Monty executed his first lineup shuffle. Baines sets and fires from deep. Baines able to chase down the loose ball. Baines just using that big frame to overpower Beasley. The early ride was fast and free. New floor general Ricky Rubio was directing teammates to their spots while the shooting came from everywhere. Known as an elite shooter since his high school days, the next version of Devin Booker was evolving before our very eyes. Long, deep three, registered the three-point hit, and Booker barking right back at Beverly. The Suns were quickly proving they could hang with and beat the NBA's title contenders, passing and shooting their way to the franchise's best start in a decade. Inside to Fane, hangs and hits. And that'll make a oh. quick exit for Patrick Beverly. Inside left hand, no! The follow slam, yes! There are teams in the league that have so much talent that they can turn the switch on. We can't, and our, our guys understand that. We have talent, but we're not, we don't have continuity. We just got together, and so we have to play hard until we understand each other better. Um, we have to bring that every night. Now, for the first time ever, you have the opportunity to see the reimagined home of the Phoenix Suns and Mercury at the new Transformation Center. Step into the future with us. Come touch and feel the arena like never before and be one of the first people to see how the in-arena experience will be elevated for next season. With health and safety in mind, we've implemented several protocols for your visit. So book an appointment today at project201.com. Injuries were taking their toll, but Monty Williams would not allow excuses. The plan and vision would remain consistent. Deeper rotations translated to opportunities for players up and down the roster. The missing pieces were magnified in a heartbreaking two-game stretch during mid-December that saw an overtime loss to their longtime rivals in Mexico City, followed by a lesson in Dame time back in Phoenix. You have to be relentless. It, this, is, this is about perseverance. Uh, we're not going to turn this thing around overnight. It just takes a lot of will. You cannot quit. Um, you're going to need guys to stand in there and get past hard. I said it at the beginning of the year. You know, everything, we, everything we want is on the other side of hard. This is our hard, and we're going to find out who we are. Progress in the NBA is rarely linear. Monty knew it wouldn't be this easy, and adversity continued. Untimely injuries led to more inconsistent lineups and player availability, forcing the Suns to go all in on their budding superstar. The relationship he began building back in May with the young phenom paid dividends as the calendar turned to a new year. Booker was in prime form, posting big numbers as the Suns notched big wins against some of the league's elite teams. Look inside, left hand, the finish, and the foul. All of which was rewarded with Booker's first All-Star appearance. Monty kept the ship steady, always with an eye toward improvement and consistency. The Suns were building something, and success was happening as he had envisioned, as a team. The vein from the corner, Shuzan! Oh, wow! Aaron Baines, what a career night! And the Suns will go wire to wire in back-to-back -back games. What a game. What a finish. And then it all suddenly stopped. The NBA suspends the season until further notice after a player tested positive for coronavirus. This astounding and unprecedented story continues to evolve. This is the last night of NBA games for the foreseeable future. As teams were allowed to emerge from lockdown, Williams knew this could be a pivotal time for the league's youngest squad. 
an arena transformation on Jefferson led to a madhouse transformation on McDowell and a new practice home for the time being. You ready to get a workout in? Yeah, finally. It's been, it's been like two long months. Not being able to work out for, I mean, at least basketball workout for five, five and a half months has been really tough. Oh man, it's been a long time. What's up, bro? Good to see you, man. Workouts were limited, with strict guidelines and NBA-mandated precautions in effect. Details of the season's return began to trickle out. An Orlando bubble would be the site, with only potential playoff teams invited. The Suns made the cut, and the most of their opportunity. Disney World, here we come. Their trip to Florida became the bonding experience of a lifetime. Beyond the mantra of bedroom, ballroom, bus, and basketball, the places they seemed to be spending most all their time, the team stayed engaged, in the pool, on the beach, and even at the table. Meanwhile, their coach found a little solitary time to clear his mind. I think any time you can find something in the NBA, in our life, where you can get away from it a little bit, whether it's reading or golf or video games or fishing, it gives you a chance to, you know, reflect a little bit, decompress. You're always thinking about your job because we're, you know, all competitive. But for me, this is just a great chance to get away from, you know, being on a schedule. Nice fish. I get to enjoy creation and my childhood. Yeah, pastime and just have a quiet, peaceful time. Ah, I lost my flute. As their eight game seating schedule began, Monty knew his team needed to run the table for a chance at the postseason. There were dramatic moments that burned themselves into our collective memories. Look, on the spin, fires for the win! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, now you do. I look at Book and he got two guys staring him right in the face and I am wide open at the three-point line and I'm like this ready to shoot and I look at him I see a look in his eyes and I, I could have just sat I could have took a seat on the ground watched it from a little you know sitting pretzel leg and just watched him because at that point you, it was just let him do what he does. But more than the gaudy stats and flashy highlights came mountain victories and Monty could feel something building. Yes, he wasn't yes, the only sir. one. The chemistry of the team. Uh, you're 24-7 with your teammates, uh, with everybody else. I mean, nobody else is here, so it's just something that we just have us. And, and I think it's something really special. After a final game route of Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks, the Suns still didn't know if their perfect record in the bubble would be enough for a playoff berth. But Monty knew they had accomplished a much bigger goal. Hey guys, look, from, from Flagstaff till now, um, it, it's just been an unreal ride, right? And we got to go back to the hotel and, and see what happens. But I, I want you guys to know this um, before that happens. Like, th this, is, this was therapeutic for me to be around a group like this. I, I, I got to tell you guys, man, I love you. I do. I don't care what happens tonight. I, I know what I got in this room. And it's been a, it has been cool for me to be with y'all every day. To watch you guys work and, and battle and, um, and gain the respect of your peers the way you have on this trip. We're not the sons of old. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. And it's, it's hard to, to play the way you play every single night and not get the respect that you deserve. Guess what? You got it, okay? So I don't, I don't care what happens. God knows I hope we get a chance to, to keep shocking the world because that's what you did. Nobody believed we'd come, you know, we'd come here and go 8-0 and, and, and beat the teams we beat. But just know, man, this is special, okay? I want you guys to know that. I don't care what happens, right? This is special. Don't let anybody take this away from you. 
you gain the respect of the league, okay? Now we got to build on it. We may get to build on it this, this weekend, or it may happen in the summer. We don't control it, okay? We got to get to the point where we control it. Understand that? You guys understand that? You want to be the kind of team that controls your own destiny, okay? That's our next step, all right? Love you guys. Bring it in. Family on three. One, two, three. Hey fans, step into the future home of the Phoenix Suns and Mercury right here at our new Transformation Center. All right, here we go. Man, I love this place. Oh yeah, I still got it. Hey Go, help me pick out my new seat. This is so cool. You guys really have to come see this place for yourself. It's amazing. All right, EJ's breakdown on the breakthrough. Monty Williams, his mandate for the players going into this season, 0.5 offense. He wanted them to dribble, drive, or shoot within 0.5 seconds. That's basic basketball. It's not a shock. I mean, that's a coach that doesn't want guys squeezing the ball. I think it's more for Devin Booker than anyone else because Devin's been so used to controlling tempo. Now, if Devin's not doing it, everybody will release the ball, and the offense flows a lot better. Yeah, Monty's talking about not squeezing the basketball. Everybody's just touching it. Don't force the issue. You kick it out, swing the ball. You don't have a shot. Move it back again, and there's the wide open shot. The key here, though, is the fact that they're making Denver's defense move. Now, Denver's overplaying the ball. They're very aggressive. I mean, strong to weak, back to strong, and halfway back to weak in a 24-second shot clock. That is pristine offense. Now we take a look at another possession. Now the Suns walking the ball up into their offense. Watch at the bottom there. Devin Booker, good move to get open on Trevor Ariza. And then the swinging of the basketball, forcing that defense to move. The ultra penetration there by Ricky Rubio. Now he has three guys guarding him. The cross court pass. You want to get the ball to who? That guy, they come to help, had the shot. Monty's taught him to be patient, right? Your shot's gonna come plenty during the course of a game. Involve your teammates. And Ricky Rubio gets a wide open three-point shot. Credit that to all four of his teammates for that bucket. All right, from that snappy offense to Monty Williams empowering not only the players this season, but also his assistant coaches, why was that so important? Well, you wanna give them something to do. I mean, in this day and age, you probably have, what, 10 to 15 assistant coaches. You want somebody to have some responsibility. Uh, they have all this at the expense of Monty and, and grabbing these guys' knowledge, so why not use them? I know some coaches don't, uh, but Monty doesn't have an ego like that. You know, he wants help. He wants, to, he wants to sustain this whole situation. I mean, especially when you've been fired before, you want to make sure you do the right thing the next time. And, and Monty has done that consistently. He has no ego when it comes to his coaches and he wants them to earn their money, and, and why not? There are so many great phrases, Monteisms throughout the season. One was be there for your brother off the court and then on the court defensively, and we saw a much improved Suns defense this past season. Well, that's what the great defensive teams do. I mean, they help one another. It's impossible to guard a guy individually in this league. They're too talented, but you can force that person to help, and you can be cognizant that when he does need help, you're willing to go based on the pr principles of your defense. And so that's what he's encouraging. And the great defensive teams in the history of this league have had help defenders that allowed them to really play at a high level. And, and that's the beauty of basketball. And it helps Devin. It, it allows him not to be exhausted because why? He's a target. Teams are going to go at him defensively, so you always want to be ready to help your teammate. Monty spent quite a bit of time in San Antonio. He saw that critical relationship between Greg Popovich and his star, Tim Duncan. We saw the same thing this past year. Monty Williams developing a really strong bond with Devin Booker. Yeah, I mean, you got to stare and figure him out. And that's what Monty has done in regards to Devin. He, he, when he first got here, Devin went to him and said, hey, I want to be coached. And I think Monty probably sat back and, and watched as he developed and watched how he responded to certain things that he said. And now they're at a level where I think Monty feels he can say anything to Devin. That's an earned 
thing there. It's not something that you can just grab right away. Uh, he really had to work to get to know Devin, and now Devin is basically better for it. And one of the most emotional moments came after that eighth win in the bubble. Monty's speech to the team in the locker room, he pointed and singled out Devin Booker saying, you've been through a lot. This success is really for you, Devin. We're not going to win unless Devin buys into everything. And, and when he does, you got to reward him. Because even though he's getting the attention with scoring all the buckets, going to the All-Star game, getting paid the most money, the one thing he really wants and he craves is the fact that he's doing the right thing to help his team win. And he wants to be recognized about that from his coach. And I think that's what Monty did. Still ahead, Suns players share their thoughts on head coach Monty Williams. Talking to me early, early season where I felt like I wasn't playing enough and him being honest and just telling me like, I need to see you work harder and do this. Like, I need to see it from you. And made me, you know, realize a little newsflash, like, all right, maybe you're not working as hard as you could be. Now, for the first time ever, you have the opportunity to see the reimagined home of the Phoenix Suns and Mercury at the new Transformation Center. Step into the future with us. Come touch and feel the arena like never before and be one of the first people to see how the in-arena experience will be elevated for next season. With health and safety in mind, we've implemented several protocols for your visit. So book an appointment today at project201.com. There's no ego. The ego's got knocked out the window once Monty came here. He, I won't say he broke him down, but he definitely got to him. It was just bigger than basketball. Um, as much as he wants to have a great team and for us to be great players, I think he wants us to even be a better person. When I got here, Monty, I, I got confidence with him. I, I kind of feel like we got a, a certain amount of trust uh, before we even started uh, playing. He just laid the foundation and he put the pressure on us as leaders and you know young young individuals to follow out his plan. To it's kind of like a trust thing. So it's it's been beautiful to watch it for him. He kind of makes you put your ego to the side, no matter who you are. Even Book, you know, um, he make everybody just play, play for your team. You know, it's all about the culture. It's all about family. There's a leadership factor to everything he does. He does, I think, in my opinion, his greatest quality as a coach is his ability to bring us together and to direct our focus to where it needs to be going into different games. If we're in a slump, if we're playing well, um, he kind of always has the right things to say to, to keep us on track. Next week on Breakthrough, we'll see how three young players are spreading their wings in the valley. Each with their own unique calling card, they form a unit that is one of the most versatile in the NBA. Kelly, Mikhail, and Cam. And do they ever have a sense of the moment? It's just a jolt of energy, um, as you all feel. You know, we all feel the same thing whenever a big play happens. And... Kelly Oubre with the nasty left hand finish. Whenever I dunk on somebody, I'm never trying to just be selfish or anything. I'm just trying to put them in the room and send a message to give our team some momentum. 